So look, bro, we got another reaction video. Um, like I told y'all before with the other video, the hack to get in the first comment, basically it is a hack. Y'all subscribe to me on y'all telephone. I just said my age. Oh, <laughs> I just said, now y'all said telephone. Oh my God. But look, y'all <laughs> Y'all subscribe to me on your iPhone, your little mobile. Nah, no, look. Y'all gotta go to y'all desktop app, man. Y'all gotta go to the uh, Safari, to the Google, get you a tablet, get you a laptop, and get, get over there and press subscribe and then press the other. Oh, well. Hey, you old too. Guess what? Oh, my mama, rest in peace. Let me tell you how old you are. How long is this video? Look at the timestamp right now. Look at it. Yeah, you that old. However old you was, what, a minute ago, two minutes ago, 48 seconds ago, you'll never be that young again. Now what? That's life. But anyway, congratulations to the first comment, man. So don't do it on your, 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 your iPhone thing, all right? Your Androids, all right? Let's, <laughs> let's go. This that reaction on. Yeah, that merch coming soon for real. The incident began about 10.30 p.m. when an officer contacted a man near a dumpster in the 1000 block of West Morrison Avenue. I promise you. When it comes to cats, roaches, rats, homeless people, bro, they go to is an apartment complex. And I'm not even going to say I don't know why, because I know why. Because I know if I'm looking for cancer bottles, I'm not going to hit every house on the block. I'm going to go to the apartment complex with probably like 300 units, eight trash cans. You know what I'm going to find up in those, bro? Girlfriends accidentally throwing away shit. Cans, bottles. People think that, look, they think they're too good to save cans and bottles. Let me tell you one thing. California, when I was up in L.A., right? I don't care what I was doing. I was saving cans and bottles all day. I'm going to Vegas. They don't even do that out here. What? Huh? Y'all, y'all, how y'all don't recite? They be, eh. Anyway, this they go to, bro. Lock your car doors. When an officer contacted Lock a man em. near a dumpster and put in one the 1,000 block of West Morrison Avenue, so you see the man the displayed two knives. 69, when I come flying, we're going to be at the near trash cans. <laughs> By the trash cans, hey, leave me alone, bro. The officer requested backup, and the man walked away. So what they say, he got a knife in his hand? Maybe at the near trash cans. He has a knife. He's yep. coming towards yep. me. Yep. The officer requested backup, and the man walked away. The man was then stopped by several other officers. After being told more than 20 times to drop the weapons, the man takes five steps towards the officers. That's when an officer fired a less than lethal projectile, hitting the man near his stomach. Oh, that was just a bean bag. This is what I'm saying, bro. Are you blowed high? They hit you with a pe with a BB, a paintball gun, basically. If you was to free, if y'all go paintball, and make sure you put them in the freezer. And freeze them, they hurt more. Anyway, bro. Yeah, so as I would have got that, I would have read. He's on something. And he betting the whole thing on off him in that parking lot. You own, then you're going to get offed. But they said he tried to kidnap a kid. Where, breaking somebody's apartment. Where did this happen at? Don't tell me, bro, tried to get away and then, hold on. <laughs> Officers continued to talk doing? with the man to try and convince him to drop the in weapon. The car? After firing one addition, continued to talk. What is he doing? <laughs> Hitting the car window? <laughs> what are you? What the car do? Officers continued to talk with the man to try and convince him to drop the weapon. After firing one additional beanbag round, the man threw a weapon at officers, hitting a police car and nearly striking the officers. That's what they can say they use lethal force, huh? Bro hit the front of the car or the tire. He hit the front of the car 
and threw a weapon at officers, hitting a police yeah. car and nearly striking the officers. The man then ran toward a second-story apartment <clears throat> and hid behind a wall of an apartment occupied by a woman and her young daughter. Oh! The woman, now inside the apartment with her young daughter, called 911. What the boyfriend do to not be in the house? Because bro ain't at work. That's a single mom. I'm not even lying. For her to be on the phone, for her to be on the phone, I mean, it's not a man up in the house. I don't care if she's on the phone with her mama, her best friend, her sister, or the police. If she's on the phone calling her mom or calling the police because she see that outside, ain't no man in the house. We got this. Bro come up here, I'm smoking him. He better play them games with the police down there because if you come up there, I'm smoking him on my kids. She ain't got no man in the house. 911, what's the address of your emergency? <laughs> I told you. Look, she see, she was looking at the whole, this is the coldest part. She looking at everything unfold. Bro been downstairs, they heard, she heard the beanbag. She was standing outside on the porch before he came upstairs. She see the police downstairs. What she do? Still call the police. To do what? Tell them we already here? What you gonna tell them, bro? That's a single mom and she's scared. She's scared for her life, bro. Where is the baby, the boyfriend? Somebody need to be hitting that so they can protect her and her kid. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, bro. I'm not a stereotype. <laughs> you ain't got to say where you live at. Like, hey, I'm at the apartment where it's cracking at. She up here giving them the whole address when I promise you. They didn't dis dispatch know everything that's cracking down there. They had to use their pistol. They had to use the, the, the bean bag, get out. You know what I'm saying? You got somebody out there with a knife, you got so many poor sheep. 911, hey, I'm where it's cracking at. What I'm gonna do? What should I do here on my porch? That's all you gotta say. She said, like, what did she say? She giving out. The address of your emergency. 731 Southwestern Avenue, apartment. I have my house surrounded by. They gave the address, Western Ave, all of that, right? And then they blurred out her apartment number. People on the, on the internet is crazy, bro. We will walk around all day with our phone in our hand to see what view is that. Oh, that's her house. That's her. It's either that one next door or that one. Right. It's one of them two, bro. Matter of fact, it's one of them three, bro. Here go the view. You see the trash on top of the roof right there? Look at the tree, bro. You see how the tree branch right here is slang like this one and this one go up? Look at the tree, you can look at, you see how the bike leaning on the porch right there? You don't think they can notice that? The bike outside, you got a yellow thing outside, and then you gonna borrow out the address? People, if they wanna find out, we can tell who she is. We already got the address, we know exactly where she live at. And we doing a react, I, hey, hey. <laughs> macho, macho, I ain't wanna hear this. The police yes ma'am, we were trying to reach someone that lives there, we didn't have any other. Look, they already know. We've been trying to reach somebody. We already know. Um, recent contacts with you there. You need to stay sheltered in place. We have someone that's up against the wall there, and you need to stay inside. They know what's going on. I am. I'm in my bathroom, and I have a gun registered to me, so if this guy comes Okay, you don't. Happen. Single mom. And she do what I tell y'all always to do. That's the homegirl. She said, and I got me a burner registered to me. If this guy run up in here... <laughs> I see what she calling the police for now. She want to make sure she can pop, bro, just in case he try to break up in the house. Look. I am. I'm in my bathroom, and I have a gun registered to me, so if this guy comes Okay, you happen, don't. Okay, do you have all your doors and windows locked? Yes. And like I said, I do have a registered gun, so if he tries to come into my house, and I'm going to go Okay, ma'am. We have officers <laughs> see, there. Please know. don't fire. You got me mixed up. If he come in my house, I ain't popping him. And if the police start shooting at me because they think... Accidentally mistake me for shooting at them and I'm getting off on him too. What you mean? I ain't finna sit up, bro. My kid is in here. Okay, ma'am, don't you do anything. What? Bro, lucky he didn't get popped for coming up the stairs. My daughter bike right here. What that mean goes, I don't know, but that's why I say in court. What else can I say? The yellow tag right there? Or the yellow, the yellow, the carpet hanging over the, the balcony? Can I say it just Tuesday? What else can I say? My daughter bike is right here, Your Honor. That's it. <laughs> Hopefully I get off. Hopefully I got a good lawyer. He can make it seem like the bike is a person.
Like the person was in danger. He started to be on a booyah. It's a ghost on a bike. Y'all just didn't see him. Only he can see him. Like it's. I'm not even finna go in on that. <laughs> In an attempt to de-escalate the situation and persuade the man to drop the knife and surrender peacefully, officers and a hostage negotiator talked with the man for more than 90 minutes. Whoa. During that time, the negotiator repeatedly asked him to set the knife down. Several times during the standoff, the man glanced over the wall and yelled at officers. Ghost for president, man. It would be in the law book. And I don't know why they don't be right. He causing all this commotion because he got a knife in his hand. Go arrest him. If he approach you, pop him. That's it. It's too many of y'all. He having a whole standoff because he got a knife in his hand. At this point, he don't need a hostage negotiator. Bro, don't want to be he. Like he has a, huh? I'm not getting this. Officers deployed a drone to see what he was doing on the balcony. Wow, a they rich police monitoring department. monitoring the video feed from the drone saw the man put a knife on the ground. The knife is on the ground next to him. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Now, more than 90 minutes into the negotiation, the police well, decided crazy. to take advantage of the situation. That's when they fired less lethal pepper ball rounds at the man in an attempt to end the situation. Watch as the man begins throwing objects at the police, including That's my bikes daughter, and chairs. Mike. I would, yeah, he would have got hit in the back. I would have came outside. Bro, that's my daughter, Mike. Chill out. I wasn't even... Bro, I, I would have came outside. He only got a knife on that. She looking... I would have looked out the window. I don't even believe this. I can't believe it, bro. I'm not... Bro, you sitting in the house... I mean, not on her behalf. I'm talking about his behalf. I would have came outside like, bro, you got a knife. Chill out. That's my daughter, Mike. She just got that for her birthday or for Christmas or last week or something. I would have... Huh? You damaged your property. Mine. And then I would have closed the door back. Y'all got to do what y'all got to do. But he, I saw everything I love. I would open the door. Oh my, it would have been big, too. That I would have came out with something chunky, too. Like, bro, chill out. Now you finna get peppered to death. Still possessing the knife, he attempts to open the front door. He will take a large reddish board and smash the window of the apartment in an attempt to enter the apartment where the woman and child were sheltering in place. Oh! And that's when the officer-involved shooting occurred. <coughs> oh yeah, he would have popped. I would have popped him. Officers quickly yeah. made their way up to the second floor landing to disarm she the suspect used that. She used and move the mother and her daughter. She listened to the police dispatcher. That's crazy. She listened to the police dispatcher. That's crazy, bro. I wouldn't. I ain't, I ain't lying. I ain't. He broke. The, I've been waiting right there. Imagine you the suspect and you just about to break the window. And somebody just looking dead at you like this, straight through the window. Pow. R.I.P. And I would have got away with it, bro. You, that's my daughter bike. That's my daughter bike. You know what I'm saying? It was a nice bike. It was. Who gonna pay for that? He broke. Mm, yeah, that's my daughter bike. Video over with though. I'm gonna get at y'all when I get at y'all. Y'all be cool. I'm straight. And uh, yeah, 100.